This is just a quick demo showing off the multi-touch stuff in uh, Unity. Um, I haven't configured anything at all besides like my theme. Well, I mean, I've configured my elementary stuff, but as far as touch goes. Uh, this is my Apple Magic trackpad. Picked it up from the Apple Store. I think it was like 79, 80 bucks or whatever. Um, in OS X, it natively supports uh, point, which is normal, click, which is normal, double click, which is normal, right click, which is fairly standard, click and drag, which is normal, two finger scroll, which is fairly standard as well. But in addition to all that, which is that stuff on the top, it supports um, screen zoom, back for day, which I've set up gestures, if you've seen previous videos, um, in uh, elementary OS and Ubuntu using U-Touch that emulate those. Um, but yeah, it's a really beautiful piece of hardware. Uh, whether you love Apple or not for their software or anything else, beautiful piece of hardware. Works perfectly with Ubuntu, which is wonderful. Here it is in person. Um, it's actually glass and aluminum, really slick. Anyway, so this is what I use for my primary mouse. Um, I discovered on accident the other day, which is the best way to discover things, that four fingers, if you... Uh, Oh, and of course it's not going to cooperate. There you go. Alright, four fingers. If you slide back and forth like this, you actually get, let's see if we can see both at the same time here, you actually get this really, really slick one-to-one -one motion for a uh, little launcher right there. So it's like, the idea is, obviously it doesn't make any sense right here, but the idea is, if you were browsing, I don't have an internet connection right now, so it's going to come up with a blank page, um, if you're browsing and wanted to pull the sidebar over, you just go like this, and it goes doop. And if you, uh, I believe if you leave it there for a second, it actually kind of clicks into place, and your window moves over, um, temporarily. I don't know if it'll stay there. Yeah, it actually looks like it kind of locks it into place. It changes the deconf key to actually save it there, which is kind of slick. Um... And then if you want, you can just go, whoop, and it goes away. Uh, but the thing that's really nice about it is it's got that really, really slick, um, that one-to-one -one motion. Now it's getting laggy because my computer's slow, of course. Let's get rid of Midori here. Um, this is a really old desktop, by the way. Hence why it's running Unity. And this is actually Unity 2D. Um, so it's in Qt. So I don't know, I'll test it in Unity 3D when I get a chance on my laptop um, with this touchpad, or trackpad, but, um, oops, that's kind of a fail. But anyway, yeah, so the uh, the motion is really, really, really nice, um, and it would be awesome to have that sort of stuff in GTK um, in elementary. Uh, I mean, imagine swiping through... I mean, it, br it basically brings that, that OS X level of, um, you know, smooth animations with the touch. I mean, it's really, really one-to-one. -one. All I'm doing right here is just going like this. It's really, really nice. Um, they also have, and I assume this is in Unity 3D as well, if you do like a three-finger three pinch, it comes up with your workspaces, and I, I believe that's just ugly in... Um, <laughs> Wow, it actually chose the wrong wallpaper. That's nice. Um, it's probably because I'm running Pantheon wallpaper. Um, it pulls up the workspaces, the ex expo mode or whatever it's called. Um, I don't have any custom gestures set. I believe there's like a window, a window moving gesture of some sort. Let's open the box here. Um, Although that's in Compass, so I don't think I don't think that'll work here. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Four finger tap pulls up this the launcher. That's kind of a nice few four finger tap, and then yeah. So yeah, this is just a look at some of the multi touch stuff in Ubuntu, Unity, um, specifically Unity 2D and Qt. Um, I really, really like this. Let's get that in elementary stat.